Market is a program of the New York City Department of Health and it falls within um, our Bureau of Chronic Disease. Our mission is to make healthier choices the easier choices in low-income communities. Good morning everyone, my name is Fabian and I'm a nutritionist with the New York City Department of Health. So we're going to be talking about, about the benefits of eating fruits and vegetables. I wanted to do something as a nutritionist where I can impact multiple individuals at a time and Dell Farmers Market gives me a great opportunity to do that because I'm teaching a course where there are 30 people, sometimes 40 people at my workshops. So can someone tell me what are some of the benefits of eating fruits and vegetables? Oh, very good. The kids are learning and they get so excited about answering our questions in terms of if you have a plate, basically what should your plate look like, how much fruits and vegetables should you be having and they'll be the first one to answer and say well half of your plate should be fruits and vegetables. How many cups of fruits and vegetables should you be having in one day? Between the number of one and ten. It's five. Two cups of fruits and three cups of vegetables. People do have that misconception that farmers markets are places where only wealthier people can shop. That's why we started our Health Bucks program. At the end of the workshop, everybody's gonna get a $2 coupon called a Health Box to buy fruits and vegetables here at the farmer's market. For every $5 someone spends with their SNAP or their EBT card, um, they get a $2 coupon for fresh produce. EBT sales at the markets doubled once Health Bucks was initiated. And we know it's on fruits and vegetables because Health Bucks can only be used for fruits and vegetables. So we know people are making healthy choices when they're using EBT at the farmer's market. Stellar Farmer's Markets is providing the skills and the knowledge about how to um, purchase, store, prepare uh, healthy fresh fruits and vegetables while limit, living on a limited income. You look at what is available at the farmer's market, you consider your population, and then you basically tailor your recipe according to that. And also, our recipes meet very specific guidelines by the USDA. Si les gusta el ajo. Vamos a poner un poquito de cilantro. Sabía que podía consumir el maíz sin cocinar. We want to give them very easy and simple ways to increase fruits and vegetables while they are shopping at the farmer's market. We focus on neighborhoods where we have found healthy food options are least available. And there's research that shows if healthy food options are more available, then people are more likely to eat it. I love it and I enjoy it. I enjoy talking to people. I enjoy teaching them about nutrition. I had a person who came back and told me Within less than a month, she had lost 10 pounds following the recipes and following the guidelines that we gave her. One gentleman from last year said, oh, I'm not going to eat those fruits. Cookies taste better. So I stopped the workshop. I said, OK, we're going to have this gentleman try one of the peaches. And I gave him a peach and an apple. He tried it, and he could not believe how sweet. He said, I had forgotten how sweet a fruit can be. He said, I forgot how good an apple could be. I forgot how good a peach could be.